When a star reaches the end of its life, several outcomes are possible. It can gradually fade away like a red dwarf, expel its outer layers into space as a red giant before vanishing, or explode as a supernova. This last scenario is the rarest, but also the most fascinating, as it gives birth to extraordinary cosmic objects. We have already discussed neutron stars, the collapsed cores of massive stars, compressed into just a few kilometers by extreme gravity. We have also mentioned pulsars, neutron stars that emit radio waves and rotate at incredible speeds, so fast that they were initially mistaken for possible extraterrestrial signals. Today, we turn our attention to an even more intriguing object, magnetars, which generate the most powerful magnetic fields in the universe. A massive star maintains its balance through the interplay of radiation pressure, produced by thermonuclear reactions in its core and gravity. However, when the star begins to fuse iron, these reactions stop abruptly as iron cannot serve as fuel. With radiation pressure gone, gravity takes over. The outer layers of the star collapse onto the core at astonishing speeds. The core itself contracts under gravity so intense that electrons are forced to merge with protons, forming neutrons. What was once the stellar core, composed of atomic nuclei, becomes an extremely dense mass of neutrons, nearly devoid of empty space. When the collapse reaches a critical point, the infalling matter violently rebounds off the ultra-dense core and is expelled into space as a supernova, releasing an enormous amount of energy. What remains at the center is now a neutron star, a tiny celestial body only a few kilometers in diameter but with a mass 1 to 1.5 times that of the Sun. Throughout its life, the star was already rotating. With its collapse, this rotation accelerates dramatically, as most of its mass is now concentrated in a much smaller volume. As a result, some neutron stars spin several times per second. The interior of these objects remains a mystery, but current theories suggest a complex structure. Beneath their crust, made of crystallized iron, the remnants of atomic nuclei are so compressed that they begin to touch and arrange themselves into filament-like structures. Deeper inside, it is even possible that neutrons break down into a quark-gluon plasma, though this remains hypothetical. If the original massive star had a strong magnetic field and high rotation speed, its collapse triggers a dynamo effect that amplifies its magnetic field to extreme levels. This process creates a magneta, a neutron star whose magnetic field can reach 10 to the 15th Teslas, or a million billion times stronger than Earth's. At this scale, the effects become surreal. A magnetar located halfway between Earth and the Moon would be powerful enough to instantly erase all magnetic data on Earth. However, that would be the least of our concerns. Its gravitational pull would have already destroyed the planet long before. This magnetic field is so intense that it distorts the very structure of atoms, stripping them of their electrons and transforming them into clouds of ionized gas. If a human were to approach a magnetar, they wouldn't just die biologically. They would cease to exist in their material form, as their atoms would be completely disintegrated by the magnetar's forces. The magnetic field of magnetars is so strong that it deforms their crust, triggering starquakes similar to earthquakes. These tremors release colossal bursts of gamma rays, which we can observe from Earth. In 2004, one such burst, emitted by SGR 1806-20, lasted only a tenth of a second, but released as much energy as the sun does in 100,000 years. These bursts are irregular and unpredictable, but they provide a unique opportunity to study the interior of neutron stars through a 
discipline called stereoseismology, magnetars are extremely rare. For thousands of pulsars, only a few dozen magnetars have been identified in our galaxy. This is because such an intense magnetic field is not stable and dissipates within tens of thousands of years. However, even after losing their magnetism, these neutron stars continue spinning for billions of years, silent witnesses to the extreme forces that shape our universe. Thank you for watching.